All right, everybody, see so how we do today. I'm happy, you know why? Because now I get to cover my favorite people in the whole wide world, the globalists, the EU. A specific globalist, you might say. A certain French President Emmanuel Macron. Now, Macron, apparently, according to this article from Ruptlink, which has been fact-checked for your convenience, Macron lectures Putin on a right to protest amid own crackdown on yellow vests. Oh. My. God. The hypocrisy levels are off the charts, my friends. So, the article reads, Emmanuel Macron took the opportunity to tell Russia's, Russia's Vladimir Putin that a true democracy should treat protesters with respect. In France, anti-Macron protesters have been met with police batons for the past 40 weekends. And water cannons, and mace, and pretty much every manner of method you can imagine. Hell, some person even lost an eye. The two leaders met ahead of the G7 summit with, with Russia, which will not be part of to talk about issues both bilateral and international. Amid the mostly amicable exchange, the French president scaled the moral high ground to admonish Putin for his treatment of protesters at home. We call this summer for freedom of protests, freedom of speech, freedom of opinion, and the freedom to run in elections which should be fully respected. In Russia, like for any of the Council, Europe, Macron said at a point in a joint press briefing at his summer residence on the French Mediterranean coast ahead of 3.5 hour long talks with Putin. You know who's in charge of your country, France? A rich sycophant. Pseudo-intellectual, pseudo-philosophical, certified, uneducated uh, fool who claims to understand the working people the lowest, the poor lowest income bracket, but doesn't understand the first thing about it. Because he's never had to be in that income bracket. He's never been, quote unquote, working class. He doesn't understand you. And for that matter, he doesn't even re really represent you. He represents Brussels, the EU. And most of all, he represents himself what he personally wants, which is what he thinks is ultimately best for you. Referring to a series of opposition protests that were held in the Russian capital in recent weeks, the French leader urged Russia to abide by international agreements guaranteeing freedom of speech and freedom to gather. This is why a lot of people were concerned with what is going on in Moscow with all the arrests that were made by police. He said, indeed, both the Western political establishment and media have been gripped by the news of the rallies in Moscow. What they have not been nearly as thrilled about, though, are the on, on the ongoing yellow vest rallies in France itself. The country, which according to Macron has always respected all the rights of its citizens, has seen protests for the past 40 weekends, larger than those in Moscow, and met with a much tougher police response. So how the hell does Macron think he's qualified to comment on Russia, or even begin to criticize them or help them out with their issue, when he can barely even handle it himself? Aren't you a Christian, Macron? Aren't you supposed to pull the speck out of your uh, the log out of your eye before you pull the speck out of your brother's eye? With the latest rallies in Moscow were indeed marred by occasional instances of violence and resulted in an unusually high number of detentions, which gave the Western media an opportunity to present it as a crackdown. Still, they have a long way to go to compare to what the French yellow vests have been enduring. Originating as a protest against planned fuel tax hike last November, the protests have since turned into a broader movement opposing the, po the policies of Macron and his government. Over the months we saw demonstrations every weekend, the rallies repeatedly spiraled into clashes between the protesters and police. Law enforcement never hesitated to use not only batons and tear gas, but also non-lethal guns, firing 40mm rubber bullets and instant tear gas grenades. Explosive munitions packing 30 grams of TNT. This has resulted in thousands of protesters suffering various, sometimes life-changing injuries, like lost eyes and limbs, 
in July, hundreds of people even joined the March of the Mutilated. Ugh. Well, isn't that morbid? Anyway, this was in Paris to protest police brutality. Uh, Putin himself made a reference to the Yellow Vest protest, saying that Russia does not want to see uncontrolled violence on its streets, and that citizens are given opportunities to express their opinion in a peaceful and legal way. Our people have the right to voice their protest. The authorities need to make sure that this is right, is upheld. The Russian leader said, adding, though, that the idea of respecting that right should not be reduced to absurdity. It should not lead to clashes, and anyone responsible for violence should be held accountable under Russian law. That's all well and good, but you know what? Macron, if you really love someone, you let them go. You give them what they want. You go away. And right now, Macron, the French people obviously do not want you. That couldn't be any more clear. For the life of me, I don't understand why the Russians still want Putin. In spite of his obvious brutality, he is a legit scary dude. But, you know, I guess it takes all kinds, right? But yeah, uh, Macron, since he refuses to acknowledge even his own people, is in no position to criticize Russia or comment on this situation at all. He is a, he is a hypocrite, a sycophant, and a pseudo-intellectual, and maybe even a liar. And I don't really see a whole lot of difference with any of these other EU politicians either. Many of them are more or less cut from the same cloth. Maybe with the exception of Angela Merkel, who actually is a fairly, fairly quiet woman. She gets up to the platform, says what she needs to say, and then steps down. Actually, I wouldn't mind if more politicians were like that. Sort of quiet, highly approachable. But yeah, go figure. No, we get loud mouths like Trump. Or pretty much any politician in Washington, D.C. these days. But yeah, no, uh, there you go, folks. Macron's a hypocrite. Just another thing we can add to the list of reasons why he's a total douchebag. Anyway, peace!